it's your man OG Bo Beats TV. Coming here today, another special video. What's good? What's happening, YouTube? It's your man OG Bo Beats, and I'm back with another video for you today. So, today I got some shoes I want to review. I had them for a little bit. I actually got them about a month late after they dropped. But I'm going to tell you about how I got them, why I got them, the price I got them, and the history behind them. But before we do that, please make sure if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. You know all the rules. It's your man OG Bo Beats. Let's get right into it. All right, boom. So check it out. Check it out. As you can see, right out the back, uh, you see the big orange Jumpman logo on this box. You see the nostalgia on the box. We're going to talk about that. Very dope box right away, right? Gradient elephant print. Just a dope box, man. Um, and we're talking about this is none other than the Air Jordan 3 beer. All right, so dope shoe. This shoe released uh, November 25th of this year for the second time. Um, originally, the shoe released back in 2013. And it was a hit. It released also with some Jordan 4s and Jordan 5s. So we're going to talk about that. But let's go ahead and just jump into this shoe, man. Why not? Let's, let's not waste time. So the label on the box read Air Jordan 3, Night Stadium, Total Orange, um, size 11, my size. All right, so go ahead and check out the label. Hope you all can see that. All right, so first things first, man. The box, very dope box. Um... So, the 2013 pair uh, was based off of a campaign that the Jordan brand had from back in 2008. All right, so basically it was about, uh, you know, Jordan being Jordan and the whole being scared to play against him thing. So, on the 2013 pair, on the insole, on the upper right, it had a saying that was, I'm scared of what I will become and you're scared of what I could become. So, but it was in a plain Jordan box back in 2013. Well, they flipped it this time. So now this pair, nothing on the insole, but if you look closely on the top of the box, it basically has those sayings. You gotta kind of know what you're looking for to read it on here. It's also right on the paper in the box. All right, so that's a pretty dope change up because a lot of people like me collect boxes and the paper and all of that, so I dig that. But just a little note for y'all before we jump into the shoe. All right, so now let's go ahead and take the shoe out. I already showed you the paper. has that Jordan saying on it. And then we take these out. Get a good look at the shoe myself. All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. Dope shoe, man. Dope, dope shoe. So, again, a little bit about the shoe. It released this year or last year, November 23rd or 25th in 2023 for a retail price of $210. Now, you know, that's a lot for uh, an Air Jordan 3. A lot for anything because Nike is steady going up on the shoe prices. But if you didn't notice, last year it was definitely a lot of decline in sales, at least initially, for a lot of shoes. So, uh, good news for me is I waited for these to go on sale and I actually purchased this pair December 24th, Christmas Eve. I got a, a dope sale, ended up paying 160, so I got like 50 bucks off total for the shoe. And um, you can't beat it, man, because when the shoe originally dropped, I wanted it, but I was like 210 is kind of steep, so I didn't need it. But for the discount that I got on the shoe, I said, you know what, why not? dope shoe i love threes i like threes that have a little bit of something to them because to me threes are kind of plain um i.e those midnight navy threes that just dropped nothing against them dope clean shoe but i just didn't i just didn't get it i didn't i didn't really see you know what it was all about a lot of people was trying to say those were kind of georgetown threes but if you had the, the all navy georgetown threes that you had the all navy georgetown threes that i think was just better than those but anyway let's get into this shoe man do a quick review um a lot of dope materials and things going on with this shoe so first off on the outsole as you can see we got that uh 
nice stadium, black, grayish, also with the total orange. All right, you see you got the pot of the orange here, and then you got the Jordan on the outsole there. All right, pretty standard for Jordan 3. All right, moving up to the, uh, the midsole, very dope midsole. So this is actually a, called a flat pewter. That's this grayish color, it's called a flat pewter. It's a weird, weird name, but it's the color. And then you can see the gradient that goes to around the back of the shoe. Tinker Hatfield, of course, designed the Air Jordan 3. On front of the toe box, you got the elephant print right there. Check that out. Then, of course, you got elephant print on the sides. Moving up to the midsole, I mean, to the, to the, uh, to the upper of the shoe, you got this nice, quality suede nothing super super thick but a definitely a good quality materials on that that's probably more that's more of the nice stadium color i'm gonna say right there on the upper all right you got orange hits on the eyelids of the three black laces you got some gray on the eyelids the tongue is a black tongue with a total orange jump man logo all right this is more like a little smoother suede i actually like this material on top of the tongue so that's pretty dope all right so sock liner black sock liner and then the insole on these black insole with the total orange jump man like i said previously on the 2013 pair the insole had that saying that we talked about at the beginning of the video all right so moving along to the heel of the shoe you see you got a total orange jump man with the words air under the jump man you got the little tab right here of course all right so that's pretty dope and like i said you got the elephant print on both sides back sides of the shoe all right so i like how the gradient goes from that pewter all the way around to that black with the little speckles in it pretty dope shoe man um like i said didn't come with any laces but I, some orange laces would be dope with these i think even some white laces would be dope with these um you know cool shoe good shoe to have in the stash not mad at it at all definitely wanted when they first dropped i just didn't want to pay the 210 basically nowadays everything is sitting and if you if you're looking for it you can get it for a discounted price all right so so far this year 2024 those air jordan one i think it's acre okre the yellow ones dropped and i mean full size sit right you can get those shoes any size kids adults whatever right now full size all right so so far not looking good for the jordan ones this year but like i said that shoe in general kind of reminds me of the taxis and the pollens so if you got those i don't know why you would want those unless you just wanted that shoe with the color blocking uh, but other than that you know we'll see what happens in 2024 i think a lot of stuff is gonna sit i think jordan brand needs to calm down on the air jordan ones drop some tens you know some different stuff mix it up you know and see what happens but nonetheless leave a comment down below let me know how you feel about this shoe the air jordan 3 fear did you cop uh, retail was you able to get it with a discount like me all right like the video subscribe to the channel Shimano Beats, and I'm out. Peace.